I think it's good for a practitioner to have some self experience. Absolutely. You relate it. I say that in my practice, I've had every injury that you've had. No matter uh -huh. what you come in the door with, I've probably had that injury. Really? Yeah. So I've always I can always say, well, I understand what happened because I had I did that same thing at some point in my life uh, too. So it's I think it's good for me to have. Uh, an understanding of what they're feeling because I probably felt that too, but now you don't get energy, right? You're yeah. you're 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 not like some practitioners of certain things. They 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 try to give or take energy. That's not what you're doing. You're just allowing it to kind of move from point A to point B, right. and you're just providing it right a, a pathway to do so. As and it's not that those other things aren't possible. You know, there are some practices where they talk about. I found this, you know, they'll run their hands and they'll find the hot spots. And these are areas of disharmony. It's another way of kind of finding them. But they will clear them or take them out or block them. And I've been trained in that. I know how to do that. I don't really use it. Um, every now and then I will. Um, or they will fill someone up. They're fatigued. They're depleted. I'm going to fill them. And I'm not saying it's wrong or right. I'm just saying with my practice, that's not how we practice. We think of the body as being able to do what it needs in its own timing. So we are merely facilitators. We're the spark, the jumper cable for the, the body to do it in its own way. You know, another idea of an outside source is like a TENS machine, right? Yeah. Pain in the lower back. So now we hook up and we use the TENS machine and we do get relief. It may not be um, forever relief. We might have to continue to use the machine. Um, but hey, that's good too. Mm -hmm. You know, to each his own whatever works. Um, that doesn't, that's more of a symptomatic approach. I want to know um, if somebody has lower back pain or sciatic pain, I ask a couple questions. You know, I, I want to know kind of what's been going on with them emotionally, and I just listen to what they tell me. I don't, I'm not a psychologist, right. psychiatrist, I don't do that. But I ask a couple things. So if you're having sciatica, does it go down the back of the leg? That's one form of energy. Does it cut across the hip and go down the side of the leg? That's something else. So I do ask some specifics that way that will tell me which energy is not, really not flowing as it should. And so it's kind of interesting. How long have you been practicing? Well, I started, I started studying in 2003. So in 2003, my, my, I have a family member who was diagnosed with cancer in California. So her oncologist at UCSF had a Jin Shin Jitsu practitioner in his office as a free service. Actually, this woman's a friend of mine, and she was doing this 10 years before my sister walked in the door because they found that he, he found that his patients were just doing better, you know, and back then the treatments in the 90s were much harsher than now, not that they're easy now. So my sister had really positive benefit on the side effects of chemotherapy, nausea, fatigue, appetite, um, you know, just lethargy and gray ashen color, all these things that are pretty standard for people. So she just had a big change and I got interested and I was helping my mother-in-law through cancer here, found a practitioner in Louisville, took some sessions for myself and what I came to realize, we don't always know where we're at in our lives. First time I laid on that table, I learned a couple things. One was, I wasn't breathing. I couldn't breathe. I could not exhale. I could take a breath, but I couldn't let it on, let it out. And in my life at that time, I was pretty stressed. But I didn't know I was. I thought I was really chill. I was, my kids could have told you I wasn't. <laughs> But so this is a, so Jin Shin Jitsu, the other kind of tagline we have is now know myself because this is about getting to know this body. So after I started taking sessions and things and I, I started studying that year. So I studied for five years and um, became authorized, I guess, within a couple of years, but continued to study until I opened my first office in 2008. And I shared a location with an acupuncturist, so that was kind of fun. Mm -hmm. A traditional Chinese acupuncturist who was um, came back and forth from Louisville. 
And uh, then I had my practice, and then I, in 2011, 2010, I started volunteering at UK. And at, um, oh no, I volunteered for Hospice of the Bluegrass, did a lot of palliative care work, um, just as a way to get my hands on people to learn more. So I did that. Um, I ended up at St. Joe's working with hospice patients there. It just, you know, well, like you with physical therapy, right, right. right? The more you work with the body, the more you understand the structure and what will help, and the more you understand the energy of it. Right. So, um, so it's been a long journey. Still learning, still growing. This is a lifetime study. But you're, you're in private practice in Lexington. I am. I have a private practice over on Richmond Road. Okay. And, uh, but I also go to people's homes, um, mostly to treat their pets. Out, I go out to horse farms, um, so I travel around. Right. But most people come to my office, um, but I do see people in hospital. Um, I will see people sometimes, um, I'll sit chair side for their chemotherapy. In some of the clinics, clinics in town, they'll allow me to sit and work with the patients because I can do it in such a way that I'm, I'm out of the way. I'm almost like a, another family member. Right, right. Well, listen, this has been fascinating to me. I'm sure our uh, listeners uh, are appreciative of you taking the time today to come in and, and talk to us. So if you have questions or if you uh, want to get in touch with Jennifer, in the description we'll link your contact information. Right, so I have a web page and um, you know, I've got Instagram and all those things. And, you know, and my goal is to connect with all different kinds of people. Because what I found when I was at UK, I had a video there, an informational video that was um, just about cancer and about patients, and it got put on a website um, just with some information about finger holds for the emotions, which are super powerful. Right. And that went up to 680,000 views. But what happened when it really jumped was that the interest went from cancer age people to 25 to 34 equal men and women. And what that tells me is people are stressed, people are looking for things to do instead of drugs and alcohol or medications, and Jin Shin Jitsu is a great, great practice, especially the practice of self-help, where you don't have to come see me all the time. Right. You can take care of this body and get some awareness. It's powerful. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks for having me, Kelly. You're very welcome. Appreciate it.